Welcome to the Twitch dating game. In a time where many of us are isolated inside or social distancing, love is still possible. Join us as we embrace our love for Twitch and try to connect people from all over the world. Perhaps your next match is behind the virtual curtain. Thanks for tuning in. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Twitch dating game. One of the chat, if you can hear me nicely, let me know if you hear the clapping sound. We just want to do some checks really quickly. Um, good, good. Yenta, what's up? Good to see you. We're here. We're here. Nerd Chris is here. CC is here. London is here and lurking. Thank you. Booms. Did y'all hear that clapping sound too? And I want to make sure. We just got to do some checks there. We have our bachelor in the green room. We have our three contestants. You didn't hear clapping. That's interesting. Hmm. We'll have to work that out. It's okay. It's okay. We'll roll with it. Um, yeah. So... Welcome to Twitch Dating Game, Terrence Mitchell, what's up? Jay Chung, <laughs> what's good? Latoya Sharice, hello, hello. Come on in, everyone. Come on in, everyone. Let me try something really quickly here. Okay, so y'all can still hear me right now. Let's try this again. Kim Possible 711. All right, let's see here. Keone, what's up? Now do we hear the clapping? What's up, Trish? Berries, how we doing? MKG, Eve is here. Come on in, have a seat. This is going to be a fun one. All right, good. Yenta says, yes, you hear the clapping. That's why we do the little sound check here. Tonight, today, we have the pleasure of DJ Luciano Sola coming to us as our bachelor all the way from Argentina. <laughs> this is our first uh, international edition of the Twitch dating game. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. And we're honored to have Luciano who agreed to it. It's going to be amazing. Gold Coast Cat, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome in. Remember, here's some of the, the kind of the rules. El Boogie Baby, hello. If you want to ask the contestants a question, put it in the chat and we will let my mods will go through and curate it and we will add your question to the list. Um, and just have fun, you know, be respectful of all the contestants. I appreciate all of uh, their courage to come on the show. Hey, Ohio Jimbo, hello. <laughs> yes, Glow Coat Cat, I should wear this jacket every day, just down the street, to the beach, to the office. All right, all right. So those are the rules. We want to have a good time in here, have some fun. Um, in a minute or two, we're going to bring in Luciano. We're going to talk to him for a bit, and then we're going to get to the questions. We'll let him make a decision. Alex, hello. And that's how we'll go. You have any questions how this works? Someone needs to send Mr. Nuwarb. He always sends me messages about when's the dating game. You know what? Let's send him a message really quickly because he loves the dating game. And um, we want to make sure he's here. So I'm, I'm going to tell him, I'm going to say hello, Twitch dating game is live right now okay good we got him here wow well, jimbo good to see you good to see you okay let's see here also that's good if you're new to the channel please follow uh double helm thank you for the follow miss nikki ninja jackson uh thank you for the host dj malachi good to see you all right all right let me see any other announcements before we bring dj loot to the stage. I think he's ready for us. All right, hold on. We're going to get him here in a moment. Make quick adjustments here. Everyone's here. Irene Fiasco is here. All the family is in the building. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Okay. So. Oh, where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I'm there already you. blushing. I told you. I'm already blushing. Why are you blushing? Why are you blushing? I'm, shy, I'm a shy guy. You don't believe that, but I'm a shy guy. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Crazy Berry Town comes in with the raid. Oh, good, good. Shout out Crazy Berry Time. Thank you very much for the raid. Everyone, welcome. You're not allowed to blush, says Trish. You're not allowed to blush. Welcome in. Thank you, Crazy Berry Time. Make sure you're following them. Ill Drucker's in the building. Oh uh, thank you to Nerd Chris, who helped out with that. Uh, yes, oh my gosh, Ill Drucker's here. Oh my gosh. Pueblo Soul is here. Please host and follow if you're not already. We're so excited to see Luciano here. 
Oh, we here, Miss BJ. Okay, D Biggs is here. Tiff Star, the DJ is here. Double Spirit. All right, all right. Oh, I got my whole family here. Your whole fa they're here to support. They're here to help you make a decision. You never know what can happen. We've had some really strong matches here, so do not. Okay. I always, I always pick the wrong one, so I'm in the You're gonna pick the right one today. First of all, before we get to your preferences for the ladies. How are you doing? You were just here with us a couple months ago on Twitch U. How's the summer? Well, really, it's not summer for you. It's getting ready to be like winter. It's winter for you yep. right now. Winter. So how's the winter going for you so far? Uh, well, you know, bald heads suffer the winter, so I'll be having a, a bad time with that. But <laughs> other than that, you know, I, I, I'd rather have been winter than summer. I, I can stand the hot, so okay, I'm good. You're good. You're good. Um, Kish Keshiaki, hope I pronounced that right. Thank you for the follow, DJ P Fu. Hope I got that right. Thank you for the follow. Um, welcome in, everyone. Make sure you follow Crazy Berry Tom. Thanks for that raid. Okay, so okay, so the summer, the winter is going fine for you. Anything yep. going on with you in terms of your DJing on Twitch, DJing in real life? Any updates for us on that topic? Well, yeah, you know, now it's like it's kind of opening, so I got a couple gigs. I was just. While I was waiting on you, somebody hit me up about a gig, but I'm thinking about, you know, taking a free week, like not working one week, because I've been, well, I don't know if you was aware, but I, I've been raising money for one kid that was sick here. And mm -hmm. you know that mostly when, when you talk about uh, other countries' currency in Argentina, that's stressful. So, you know, that, that got me, my brain just burning. So I need a week off. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. Okay, That's all right. Good. The party rocker DJ Kev G's in the building. What's good? What's good? All right, let's kind of first let's learn some more about you. Uh, if you're comfortable, Kara Canova, thank you for that sub. Happy three months. Tell us what do you look for in a young lady? Um, well, you know, I, I, I think the most important thing of all is that we can have fun. You know, she gotta be able to smile about everything. You know, that's something that, that is important for me because I, sometimes I just be laughing at, at weird stuff. And people be looking at me like, yo, why are you laughing about that? And it's, you know, that's life. You got to you gotta laugh. <laughs> laugh okay. or cry. I'd rather laugh. So, you know, a good smile. That's something that I like. Obviously, she got to be into music. That, that's something that we can negotiate that because my life is like 75% music. It so, is. It is. You know, I got to be able to share something with her. But... That's that's basically it. I, I, I'm not. I don't have a lot of requirements. Okay. Do you have? Well, first, okay. I'll ask this in a two part question. If there was one artist that your significant other has to like, like if she says, "I'm not a fan of this artist. It's a rap. Like no go." Who would that be? What artist would that be? Oh, that's that's hard. Uh... <laughs> I can I can be mean and tell somebody this is an artist that you know that maybe it's hard to like for everybody, but I, I think the MJ Michael Jackson gotta be the one. So okay. All right, Michael Jackson. Good, yeah. good, good. What's up, Cat Hepburn? All right, and then what are your other like deal breakers? What are the things that you're like, ooh, that's just not gonna work for me? Uh, a bad sense of humor. Ooh. Uh not being respectful. Okay. You know, I, 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 I'm like trying to be the most respectful, respectful that I can with, with people. So if I'm with somebody that makes me feel embarrassed about, you know, the, the situation or, that, or something else, that's, that's just it, you know, can, can keep going with that. Okay. All right. So got it. You know, no belligerence up there. Okay. We like yeah. some people no rants. Okay. And then hmm, what else can we ask you? I know your mother's important to you. Did your mom give you any advice for the show tonight? And my mama, she was she she was laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't give me no advice. She was like, I can't believe you're doing that. It's like, yeah. okay, mama, thank you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Is your mom close by? Do we want to bring her on stream later on? I mean, we could do that. No. She, she don't want. She, she don't no. want plus she don't speak English. So she knows she's like kind of embarrassed about that. Okay, okay. But you know, she has questions for the ladies. We can get them to her. Uh, uh Trish, if you got questions, put them in the chat. <laughs> she will make it hard. She will start asking about mathematics and stuff like that. It's just, you know, to be bad with the ladies. Okay. She's okay. kind of jealous. So she she's 
protective of her Luciano then. She's very protective, right? Well, I'm the baby. I'm oh, the, the, the youngest. I'm the youngest one of three. I'm the last one that, that stayed in the house, you know, <laughs> and, and probably, you know, I, I took care of all the things that maybe she couldn't by herself. So I'm like, like the baby. Oh, okay. So you're the baby. So she's going to have a hard time letting you go. Oh, yeah. But she handled, she handled that. You know, I, I've been overseas and, and spent a, a little time far from her. And, you know, she's happy. If I'm happy, she's happy. So. Okay. And what would you say, like, for you, if you, if you were going to meet someone and, and they were going to cook a meal for you, what would be the meal that would win your heart over? You don't have to cook. Tell me to Popeye's. I'm going to be happy. <laughs> Tell me to Popeye's. It's a, close, it's a deal. Done deal. <laughs> I'm going to marry the chicken. <laughs> so you're Popeye's. Okay, yeah. so she don't have to cook. She can take you. Well, maybe she cooks dessert and brings Popeye's for the entree. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Let, let's talk later. Take me to Popeye's. <laughs> then we will talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. So what's up, Tweak? Music tips in the building. What's good, sir? Tanya, California. Hello. Good to see you. Long time no see. Thank you very much for the Bowtie Diva 929 is in the building. <laughs> Popeyes, we need to get you a sponsor for Popeyes. Please. Right. So, before I bring the young ladies on, any last minute words of advice so they can know kind of the best way for they can get to your heart? Oh, yeah. Ashanti, if you're around, cough three times. I'm going to pick you. <laughs> okay. So, cough three times if you're Ashanti. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help stop laughing. Okay. <laughs> all right. So what we're gonna do now? Um, thank you, Miss BJ. Disco Darren is here. I see you all. I saw uh a long time. Hold on, let me scroll up here. New York boss lady, what's good? Welcome back. Good to see everyone in the building. Jamie Art, thank you for the host. All right, you ready to meet the ladies? Let's bring the ladies on. Their cameras will be off. We'll have questions for them. We're gonna go around. If you're in the chat and you have questions for the ladies. Put them in the chat. I know our resident guru, uh, MKG Bailey, is in the building. She always has tremendous questions for us, so I'm going to lean on you tonight. If you're wondering, our guest host, Melissa Major, she had an emergency, family emergency that popped up earlier today, so just like an hour ago, so she can't join us. We might have some people come in a little later, but for now, I'm your wingman, Luciano. We're ready to have some fun. Okay. And, and here we go. So I'm going to bring the ladies in. Their cameras are muted. They won't be revealed until last. All right, so here we go. We're going to do this real quick. This. It's normal that I'm shaking, right? <laughs> yes, it's normal to be shaking. It's okay to be okay. nervous. It's fine. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, so we're here. I'm going to put your box in the middle. Okay, so what's your first question for the ladies? We'll start out with contestant number one. Read your first question. I'll ask each lady to answer it. Um, you can stay on mute until I call you. Um, so go ahead. We'll start with this question. Well, you know, as we were talking, I need a good sense of humor. So my first question is that if, you know, sometimes you laugh about something and people say, you're going to do hell for this. Are we going to hell together or are we going to separate that way? Well, you can, we can laugh about the same things. Like, is there something you can laugh about or that we can talk because because it touched you in, on a different way, you know, rough you different? That, that's the first question. Okay, so the first question, we're going to bring contestant one here. So what's something that you both can laugh about together that may or may not uh, send you to, to hell? What's your answer, contestant number one? Oh, gosh, that's a tough one. And hello, uh, DJ Luciano. Very nice to meet you. Same here. Oh, God, you know, I think you said it. Like, you have to laugh about everything. You have to laugh at yourself. Because if you can't laugh at yourself, what can you laugh at? And... Uh, you know, I mean, us like falling, especially myself, like tripping and falling, like as long as someone isn't hurt, you got to get a good laugh out of that. But um, I always try to, to laugh at anything I can because things have, especially this past year plus have been so challenging that you need a good chuckle every so often. All right. All right. Great okay, can, I, can I add something to that? Because she said yeah, something. Yes, you know, she said, as long as nobody got hurt. The only question is. If it affects somebody, but that person is not there. Like we can just laugh about that, you know, not not telling that person, yo, you're doing this or you're doing that. You're, mm -hmm. We're just talking in an intimate way. 
and, and we'd be laughing about that. You all feel uncomfortable about that? No, I mean, my brother just fell off a curb and broke his leg in two places, and I was laughing uh, hysterically. He's okay, okay. but you know, okay. hey, I, I, you I hope he's good. It's but okay. I'm, I'm a laugh he's about fine. him too. So that's what's up. <laughs> he deserves it, so you can laugh at him. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, contestant number two will bring you here. Talk to us. So you remember the question, contestant number two, if, if you know there's something to happen and you're both laughing about it, and would you go to hell together or not? What's your thought on that? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we yeah. can. Hi, DJ Luciano. Nice to meet you. Same here. Oh, I, I love how everybody say my name well. I'm not used to that. <laughs> Get used okay. to it. Well, we are not going separately. If I'm going down, you're going down with me. Great. Whatever it is. I, love that. I, I don't even care what it is. But um, yeah, I, I, don't make me go alone. And no, 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 no. I'm a I'm a really big on memes and, and giffies. So if you can laugh at that, even if you don't think it's funny, please laugh and, and we'll would. be good. <laughs> I will. I got. I, I'm noting that. I'm noticing <laughs> everything. You know, take notes. Yeah, yes. I'm taking. I'm here, right here. You can see it. I'm taking notes. <laughs> He's serious. I, I, I love it. All right. Okay. I love that. I appreciate. Okay. Good. Good. Contestant number three. We're going to bring you in. You can unmute yourself. What's your answer to that question, contestant number three? All right. Well, hey there, uh, DJ Luciano. Um, hey. Ooh, I mean, I, f I think we probably would both go to hell together. I mean, I I do like you. I love to laugh. Um, and there's a lot going on in life, especially at my job. We 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 laugh at things that I know we should <laughs> we shouldn't laugh at um, because that's how we get through. That's how we stay sane. So so I I, I think we'd be going to hell together probably. <laughs> OK, I, I love that. I love that. All right, so we're going to bring back, what's your next question? Uh, contestant, you're going to mute. What's your next question? Well, my question got something to do with, she, she started talking about what she does in life. You know, I wanted to know what she do uh, on her, for, for a living, you know, and okay. if that's her passion or if there's something else, you know, that is her passion and, and she's not doing it, she's doing it on the side. I wanted to know that. Good. So we're great question. We're going to start with contestant number two. What do you do? For yeah, it's, it's like different questions in one. It's like, what you do? Is that mm -hmm. your passion? If that's not your passion, what are you doing towards your passion? You know, something <sighs> like that. Have that at contestant number two. Great question. Oh, that's me. <laughs> yes, that's you. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Okay. Um, I really can't disclose what I do. It, it's top secret, but God I damn. have, it, it is a stable job. Um, I've had this job for almost 15 years. Ooh. Do I like it? Um, it has its good days and bad days, but I'm really good at it. And so that's why I'm still there. You know, it. I'm really good at my job. Um, it's interesting all the time, but I don't know if that's my passion. I'm, I'm still open to new things, but having the stability and I've mastered this craft. It's it makes my job my my day to day a little bit easier. And if you could have any job in the world, contestant number two, and not have to worry about money or status, what job would that be? <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> I, I just thought of it. Sports. I like um, something to do with sports, like uh, broadcasting or something like that. Okay. Good. We'll next go to contestant number one. We were talking about what do you do? You can give us a general outline and then is it your passion? If not, what's your passion? So I am an event planner and I think similar to contestant number two, I'm really good at my job. So that makes it easy. Is it a passion? Kind of. Uh, really, I'd love to just be able to travel. And so if I could plan trips constantly, uh, that would be a dream. Like, make me a travel blogger so I get paid, I get to travel the world, stay in amazing places. Now that is a dream job. Maybe one day. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Sounds cool. All right, contestant number three, we're going to bring you in here. Talk to us about kind of what you do, 
is it your passion? If not, what's your passion or your dream job? Okay, so I am a financial operations analyst. Um, and I started in accounting. That was what I, you know, majored in in school. It's, it's, it's just, it's honestly just something I'm good at. Um, there are days where I like it and a lot of days where I don't. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I, but I've been at my, the company I work for now for over 10 years and I've, you know, again, just kind of good at it and just, you know. um, but as far as my passion, what I would want to do, um, Contestant, um, contestant one said part of that, a part of what I want to do, because honestly, I would love to do something either in music or in um, travel. There's a there's a, a guy on um, YouTube that I love called Travel and Robert, and he just travels and talks about his travel, you know, and, and, and makes money off of that. And I'm just like, can I just do that, please? There's so many places I want to explore. So, yeah, um, definitely that. That would definitely be the dream job. Okay, you say something about music. What, why would you do? Like you play an instrument or you sing or, or, or what part of music you like? Would um, you like Tessin 3? <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Um, a little of both, actually. Uh, I played a few instruments. I played flute the most when I was growing up. And I honestly had thought about even kind of picking it up again. Um, nice. But I also used to sing in church. Um, and I used to sing in, in college as well. So um, definitely something in that. Like even being a background singer or whatever. Yeah, that, that would be it for me. I'd okay. love to DJ too, but uh, yeah. Well, I, I think my playlists are wonderful, but you know. <laughs> well, you're, you're curator, right. Maybe you're a curator. So you sing in church, but we going to hell. I think you didn't learn nothing from church. <laughs> I know. Hey, I'm a work in progress. Come on, we're okay, all okay. Yeah, we all are. <laughs> I'm still loading my hair, so don't worry. All right. All right. Thank you. Contestant three, stay there. We're going to have you answer this next one first. Luciana, what's your next question? Well, now that we're talking about what they do, uh, I wanted to ask you uh, if they ever date an entertainer, somebody to work in the entertainment business. And if the answer is yes, I want to know how it went for them. And if the answer is no, I wanted to know how they feel it will be. Okay, contestant three, that's the question. Go for it. All right. Oh, okay. I have not dated anyone in the um, entertainment industry. Um, I don't know how it'd be. I guess it would depend on what they did in the in the uh, entertainment industry. Like if, um, like, well, I'm a stripper. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a stripper. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> I was like, wait, what now? <laughs> Maybe she goes to church. Too. Yeah, that would have been interesting. <laughs> um, I, mean, I, I don't take my job to my house. So I was... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I mean, I think I, I'd be okay with it, though. I'd be open to it. I definitely wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't hold, well, I wouldn't really hold that against so what, no matter what they did in the industry, whether it's a stripper or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I think I'd be open to it because, again, I, more than likely this entertainment is, I'm hoping it'd be music. So, you know, <laughs> that would have to be something we'd have in common, so. All right, Great. good, good, good. Contestant number two, what are your answers? No, I have never um, dated, what did you say, you're a stripper? Yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> stripper. He was just kidding. He just I know I know I got the package, but I'm not, you know. <laughs> hey, can't knock the hustle. Um, <laughs> I would be open to it, definitely. Um, familiar with with it. I have a lot of people that I know in the industry, but as long as there's trust and you know we're able to communicate, and if you let me play on your equipment, then go for it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I, we'll ex go that's ahead. Fair. That's fair. Contestant number one, what's your answer? I have never dated anybody in the entertainment industry, but would absolutely be open to it. And I would be front row at all of your shows, screaming the loudest, like, I, I mean, any I could get to at least, I would be there cheering you on, being your biggest fan, uh, because I think having a musical talent is awesome. I cannot sing. I tried to play the piano as a child and it was 
not, it was not good. My family was not happy. So I am in awe of anyone who has that kind of a talent. And like I said, right there, front center cheering you on. Okay, okay. that's great. Maybe you can sing, but you are great at your at your job, you know, so that I think that's that, that's dope. Okay, good, good, good. So thank you yeah. very much for the host, Cece. So we have an audience question. We're going to sneak in here for you, Luciano. Okay. This very is asked right here. So contestants, here's the scenario. It's late at night. Popeye's is closed. You need to get some food for Luciano. Where are you getting the meal from? We'll stay with contestant number one, and you can go first. Oh, gosh. Popeye's is closed. I feel like McDonald's is always open. We can get a chicken nugget. I know it's not even nearly the same or that infamous chicken sandwich that I have yet to try, but... You know, maybe at least we'd have some extra like Popeye's dipping sauce in the house and it can make up for it. All right. I love it. Okay. Okay. Contestant number two, where will Jack you be picking up dinner? Jack in the Box. That's always open and they have great ranch. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. That works. Contestant number three. <laughs> the church is like, don't feed my boy McDonald's. Okay. Contestant number three. Ooh, um, mm. the only place I know that would probably be open and if Popeye's isn't is uh, one of my faves, Waffle House. And uh, yeah, that's not everywhere, but it's in it's it's near it's in the area I live in. So Waffle House, I think you'll love that. OK, Waffle House. All right. Okay. Great. Great answers, ladies. Uh, Luke, back the, to you. The answer, the answer was we break in. <laughs> we oh, took it. We don't want to get them arrested. Oh, so yeah. uh, oh no. Okay, okay. Then, <laughs> we don't want to get them arrested. You know, right. nobody told me that the police was around, you know? So I, I'm just like, in an ideal world, that's what I will do. I'm going to just get in and I'm going to cook the uh, chicken myself. But well. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think they all know, but uh, I will search for a pizza place. Oh, okay. Pizza place. That's me. That's you. All right. Continue. We're going to. Go with your next question. We'll let contestant number one answer this one. Uh, so uh, go ahead first. Okay. I would like to know what's the ideal date. Got it. Contestant number one, what's the ideal date? The ideal date. Uh, you know, I don't like it to be too formal. Take me to a dive bar. We can sit at the bar, grab a beer, just get to know each other play darts. I'm sure I'll probably miss the board, but like, you'll find it really endearing that I don't know how to play. <laughs> but yeah, just something really casual where we both can feel comfortable being ourselves and really get to know each other. Okay. All right. Contestant number. Let's see. Rex. We're going to go contestant number. I believe this is three that's coming here. Hold on. Yes. Contestant three. What's the ideal date? Ooh. Um, well, we, I, we always want to make sure we have some chance to like talk and get to know each other. So definitely a nice meal, maybe take me to one of your favorite spots that, that, you know, maybe something I haven't tried yet. Um, and really just, I, and I'm, I'm pretty laid back. So really that, and just maybe going to like um, a live music set, something like that where we can chill and just enjoy each other. Okay. And if you're going to a live music spot, who's the artist that's playing? Ooh, um, hmm, maybe Neo. Okay. okay, all right, Neo, all right. Contestant number two, what's the ideal date? Well, I'm pretty simple and, you know, I like to just kind of relax so we can get a nice dinner and then maybe go back and watch a movie at home or something. Okay. All right. So what movie would you put on if you invited <laughs> Luciano to your home? Oh, um, nine and a half weeks, but keep going. <laughs> okay. Now, now this is the, I, I'm in love. If you, if you got this, this answer. Oh, geez. Um, let's pick, you know, whatever. Let's be you. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Just pick the one you like. I'm just playing with you. Don't worry. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Maybe I'll What'd notebook you, like? you. I I don't know notebook. <laughs> oh notebook. Okay, love story. Oh, like you, but, but I'm a sensitive guy. You got me crying, Darren. <laughs> I'm gonna be crying the whole movie. 
Okay. Okay. We have another. That's a good answer there. We have another question for the ladies. We'll first off with contestant number. We'll keep with you, contestant number two. Stilettos or kitten heels? God damn. <laughs> that is the question from Cheetah. Grrr. So pictures, pictures already didn't happen. <laughs> contestant number two, stilettos or kitten heels? Oh, kitten heels. <laughs> okay, okay. I go for comfort. <laughs> hey, hey, no shame in that. Okay, all right. So I'll be on my chanclas, so don't worry. <laughs> Your chanclas, yeah. Oh, oh, can I wear those too? I I prefer that too. Hey, okay. We'll say option C. Contestant number one, are you doing stilettos or kitten heels? I am stilettos all day. A, a, a flat, short, can't go in the middle. It's either four inches high or flat on the ground. Oh, okay. All right. Contestant number Three stilettos or kitten heels? Ooh, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go for the kitten heels because uh, the way me and heels are set up, I've broken an ankle before and dislocated it. Yeah, no, oh. we're, we're gonna stay in the, we're gonna keep it safe and and cute. <laughs> well, you know, I will be laughing at that moment, right? That's something you need to know. We're gonna be laughing together, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, that's what's up. Go ahead. Keep going, uh, Luciano. Your next question. Thank you for the audience questions. Continue to submit them. Um, we love bringing them in there. Go ahead. Yeah, please, everybody. If you got a good question, help me because you know I'm I'm blushing here. I, I'm I'm blushing and I'm just like trying to make something out of nothing. Help you're, me out. <laughs> you're doing wonderful. Keep moving. Keep going. My next question is this one: is if you can leave the past in the past. Like, you know, sometimes you find somebody that is like too interested in what you already did in your life and, and your, your past relationships. And maybe, I don't know, uh, if, if you ever cheated on somebody that, you know, that's something that will define you on the future. Uh, and it, that's my question. If we can let the past be just the past and just move forward. So, so you're asking them like, um, are they able to let the past be the past and not, and not, okay and move forward not be, right. exactly not be in the middle of our relationship okay we both made made mistakes in our lives i, I won't care if you don't care obviously. Mm -hmm. okay contestant two we'll let you start with that one that's a heavy question okay so you're asking me if i can let the past be the past is, is yep. that what the question is yes oh for sure the past is the past and i don't live there anymore so we just got to keep moving forward um, you had asked if I ever cheated. No, I have not. Um, that's a big well, no-no for me. You know, that, that was a, a bonus question because that was just an example, but I appreciate your honesty with that. So right. now, now I know that. Okay. <laughs> good, good. Contestant number, this is wonderful, by the way. This is spectacular. Contestant number three, what's your answer? Um, yeah, I, I'd have to agree. I can let the past be the past. It, it doesn't matter. You're, you're the person you are now. And that's all that matters. Um, and I'm the person I am now. And yeah, like you said, the past is the past. And it, it doesn't make sense to let that get in the way of what, you know, what could be. Okay. All right. Contestant number one, what is your answer? Yeah, I think I'm the same as my fellow ladies up here. I think your past defines who you are today and it helps shape you. And I'm really just interested in who you are at this particular moment when I've met you. And we don't need to travel back. We don't need to worry about what happened in the past. I just want to know who you are and how we're going to be moving forward. Awesome. Okay. We had a question from the audience. What's up, Soul Fox? Good to see you. Uh, D Biggs asked this question right here. How would That's you bridge? Okay. How would you bridge the language gap oh. with eating his mother? This is an excellent question here. Um, I will let contestant number one start off. We'll go around the horn. Keep submitting questions. This is a good one here. Thank you, D Biggs, for submitting this question. Uh, contestant one, you can answer. Well, Google Translate is amazing. Uh, I feel like you can type anything into a phone. Uh, but also, you know, I've got Duolingo on my phone. I will learn. I think it's a great talent to have. And you want to be able to communicate with the ones you love and the ones they love. So you just have to learn. And then, in the, you know, in the interim, you use your phone and that's how it works. Technology is great. <laughs> indeed, indeed. We're going to go next to contestant number three. 
How would you bridge the language gap with Luciano's mother? Okay, so uh, is she Spanish, correct? Speak Spanish? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I, I took Spanish in high school and a pinch in college. I'm a little rusty, but I do try to practice. So I, I already kind of feel like, okay, I'm just going to need to keep brushing up on those skills. And what better way than to, as we're communicating with your mom and uh, to do that. So it's just, a, a, I guess I'll just be kind of trying to re rekindle what I've already learned, so to speak. Okay. Good. Bueno. Bueno. Contestant number two. Hola, mucho gusto. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Well, I, guess I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to have to dust off my Rosetta Stone and, yeah, download more um, Spanish apps. But bridging the gap, I guess you're just going to have to be my translator. I mean, for the most part, I, I can understand. Um, I listen to music in Spanish, and sometimes I watch, you know, watch it too. I just can't speak it back that good all right so we had a question in the chat i think is it the ashanti i, I just got i just gotta tell something go ahead go ahead if y'all don't, don't, don't know spanish yeah. just make sure that whatever you tell to my mama i'm just say something different just to make it you know just to make you feel uncomfortable something like that that's the type of show i will do you know i will i will tell my mama that you say that i'm the most beautiful in the world or something like that and she will be like lost in the whole thing okay okay good while I figure out this audience question, ask your next question, Luciano. What's your next one? What's your next oh, question? Oh, I, I, thought, I thought you was like, like yeah, yeah. trying to, to see the other one. Okay, my, my next question is, why, why me, right? Like why they wanted to be here with me? Okay, we will start that with contestant number three. Ooh, that's that's a good question. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, um, again, I I've, I've seen you know I'm, I'm I am a, a Twitch. I'm in the Twitch community, um, so I've seen you know a couple of your streams before, um, and and so I definitely want to you know obviously get the chance to get to know you. Uh, you seem like a, a very fun guy. Uh, and I love the fact that you have the sense of humor. So that's always good. Um, but yeah, that and then trying something new, because this is definitely out of my comfort. You said you oh. were nervous. Don't feel bad. I'm, I'm nervous, too. So <laughs> well, welcome. We I think this is out, out of all of us comfort zone, but that's OK. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> um, we're going to go back to contestant two and then over to contestant one. So contestant two, why are you here today? Because I got paid lots of money to be here. <laughs> Seriously, but keep going. <laughs> That's an independent woman, you know. She do whatever she wants. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, just to try something new, and also, you know, to get to know who you are a little bit. I'm I'm not really familiar with who you are, and I've just heard lots of good things about you. So. Might as well. YOLO. Oh, yes. YOLO. Love it. Good job. Contestant number one. Why are you here today? I am here because why not? I mean, there are crazier things that happen in this world. And if it is finding love on the Twitch dating show, what do you have to lose except, you know, meeting somebody new and hopefully hitting it off? I trust Amani, like, thousand percent so when the opportunity came up and i knew it was something he was involved with i said without hesitation absolutely all right all right thank you for trusting me what's up dj neek 10 what is up for dj remark in the building tall pumps i see all the people here so i have a question for the contestants we'll start off we'll stay with contestant number one say you have the opportunity to take dj luciano on a vacation what and where, well, first, where will you take them and why did you select this place? Contestant one, you can go first. Remember, Lucha's is from Argentina. So keep that in mind when making your answer. Well, I've never been to Argentina, but that's okay. I'll just come visit you and then we'll go on a vacation to, I've always wanted to go to the Maldives. You look and that ocean is crystal clear blue, those huts on the water. Like, I don't think it gets more serene and beautiful than that. And we would just 
kick back in our hut, hop in the water, enjoy the beautiful weather. And that just sounds like a dream to me. Okay. okay. Contestant number two, where are you taking Luciano on vacation? Um, I've always wanted to go to the Bahamas, specifically Atlantis. So I, I like tropical. Um, I like the Caribbean. So that's where I would want to go. And, you know, I'll pick you up. You can come with me. <laughs> All right. All right. Well done. She got the plane. <laughs> yes, I, I got the plane. I'm driving. I got it. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. afraid, but it's okay. <laughs> Contested. Number three, where are you taking DJ Luciano on vacation? I got you, Il Drucker. Ooh. Um, well, normally I would say something like like the Maldives or something like that, but you said you didn't like hot weather, like you were good with winter or whatever right now. So um, the other place I thought maybe of taking you would be Italy. So maybe... Um, Rome. I have never been to Italy myself. I don't know if you have, but that's one place that's definitely on the bucket list. So I think it will be beautiful. And you said you like pizza. So, hey, why not go, you know, go somewhere where it's, where it, uh, where it started, right? So. All right. So three, she's listening. Okay. That's, we a, have great, that's a great, I, I think it's, it's good. The fact that she paid attention to what I say to reply that, you know? Mostly because the only place I've been besides Argentina is, is the States. So it's like, a, it's all Virgin Iceland for me. <laughs> I don't know nothing else. Okay. Okay. Next question comes from Il Drucker. And so we're going to ask the question this way. For all the lady contestants, how do you feel if DJ Luciana was to have a, I don't know the proper term, but like a polyamorous relationship with Ashanti and you? So you can say, how do you feel about that or poly... <laughs> our relationships in general will stay with contestant number three first really really we're gonna stay with me on this oh, really? <laughs> oh my god but you know no, i'm blushing you see i'm glad look at this <laughs> oh lord have mercy okay well what are you thinking let me thank nerd chris for the gift of sub to il trucker so thank you nerd chris uh contestant oh. number three have you <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I mean, I will say you got good taste of, of, of you know, picking a um a shanti. Um <laughs> I mean, uh, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. You, be oh, you. you can be like I ain't for that. It's okay. Now, this is the one they all lie. They only lie on this one. I won't be oh, taking care of this one, please. Just, just do you. I mean, I'm, I'm 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 greedy, so if it's you know, I would want you for myself. But okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, so we <laughs> so contestant number two. Let me get you here. <laughs> What's your answer, contestant number two? Ashanti's cool, and you know, yes, you have good taste, but yeah, I don't. I don't think that would work. So I'd rather play her rock, paper, scissors for you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's, that's a mature way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number one. You know, I agree with the ladies. Ashanti is stunning, fabulous taste, but I cannot share my man. So she's gonna have to she's gonna have to go. Sorry, Ashanti. That's all right. That's all she right. She got the gut. You know, she got the gut. That's true. That's true. Uh, uh, audience, please continue to submit questions. They're coming in nice. So keep doing that. Luciano, over to you for the next question. Okay. What I wanted to do is, I wanted to know, my bad, is what they do in the spare time. What they like to do, you know, if they would like to watch TV or listen to music, and if they like to listen to music, what what they, their favorite artists or something like that. What What... what type of music we will be listening if we took it. Okay. So we're going to go to contestant number two. What do you like to do in your spare time? And then what kind of music do you like to listen to? Um, in my spare time, I like to dabble a little bit on Twitch and organize all my playlists. Yes, I love music. I love every kind of music, actually. Um, majority is maybe 
like reggaeton, dance hall, country, rock, alternative, uh, everything pretty much. R and B, hip hop. Good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well done. Well done. Contestant number three. What do you do in your spare time, and what type of music do you like? Oh, so in my spare time, um, I do I do a little bit of volunteering. Um, I do, of course, I'm on Twitch, uh, and I'm definitely always listening to music. And so, as far as what my favorite, that's hard because I, <laughs> my playlists are and my stuff is all over the place. So, I mean, I I have everything from, of course, you know, uh, R and B, hip hop. Um, I even have some country, I have um, uh, rock, everything. Yeah, I have all kinds of music. Um, and I can't really say I have like a favorite artist because there's just too many out there. Um, but like yourself, I love Michael Jackson, of course, still. I love, um, got a lot of Kelly Rowland, like some En Vogue, that kind of thing. So yeah, it, we'd be listening to all kinds of, of music. Okay. okay. Good, good. I have a follow-up question next. We're gonna let contestant number one answer this one. Go ahead. So in my spare time, I I mean, not afraid to admit it. I love to sit on the couch and watch a little TV, a movie, just turn the brain off. Like I, I you know, I watch too much trashy reality television, but it's great. You need a break from life sometimes. Uh, I live by the beach, so I try to be outdoors as much as possible. And I love, I mean, we haven't had it in forever, but any type of a live show, whether it's comedy, music, a musical, like I love going to live performances. And, you know, I actually am flying it to Denver for a concert to see Rufus DeSoul in August. So I'm just like nice. really excited. So like that's the type of music I love, you know, Kygo, Rufus, but also don't get me started on my boy bands because I mm. am a child of boy band. Like I, my first concert was new kids on the block and I'm not afraid to admit it. Oh, and I okay. still love every boy band. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. There you, you go. Stuff. Yeah. I mean, we can slow it down to please don't go girl too. So we could do that too. But actually, since we're slowing it down, we are talking about songs. The follow-up question is if you're entering the bedroom with Luciano, and it's time for sexy time. What song is playing? We will go to contestant number two for this one first. If they pick right, they got the solar roll. That's what they gotta know. <laughs> contestant number two. What song is playing when it comes time for sexy time? Wow. There's really two hot songs that I think. Um, Beyonce's Dance for You or Destiny Destiny's Child's. Uh, cater to you. All right. I like okay. those two. Well done. Well done. Contestant number three. Ooh. Um, definitely uh, In the Mood by Johnny Gill. Oh. Um, and uh, we're not playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, she playing. That's serious. That's serious. <laughs> Um, and then I guess another one that I, I, I love is uh, Make Love to Me by Luke James. Uh, okay. Okay. Make sure we request these on Come Here Bay. Good, good, good. Contestant number one. I mean, anything other than color me bad, I want to sex you up. Like, come on. <laughs> That's my first, my first tape. That when my dad bought it to me. If he only knew the words, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't. But, uh, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. So, contestant one, you're saying that you would play "I Want to Sex You Up" by Color Me Bad. That's the song that's going to start sexy time. Just to clarify, uh, you know, just going right into it. Let's not mess around. And okay. They're just so great. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> Sierra, 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 Houseway. Good, good. Okay, good answer. Good answer, everyone. We like those answers. Uh, Luciano, over to your next question. Um, what I want to know is, uh, you know, what's their relationship with the family? Like, if they got a close link to the family, of the, you know, if, if there's some type of m m reason why they don't get along or something like that. You know, I think family is important, so I want to know that. Okay, contestant number three, you can answer this one first. 
Uh, this is a good question too. Um, well, my mom and I are very close. My cousins, I have some cousins. None of my family lives where I do right now, um, but we we are pretty um, close. Not everyone. There's you know always those ones in the family just they're just distant for whatever reason. But we all get along. We do love each other, and um, you know we keep in touch and keep up. So it's definitely important. All right. All right. Contestant number two. Um, yeah, me and my family, we're close. Uh, we're all pretty much independent. I am the oldest. Um, my mom and dad are divorced, but they are like the best of friends. Usually, well, okay, pre-COVID or since COVID, my dad has been stuck in another country. So he's just kind of oh. living life over there. No, he's, he's good. He has a girlfriend. Um, but Usually we'll have lunch <laughs> with my dad, me, my my brother, and my sister. But lately, or before, my mom would start going to lunch without us. Oh. So I don't know how that happened, but they're they're really good friends, and like we, they all have respect for each other. So okay, we cool. <laughs> maybe she do, do you all make her pay? Because maybe she got tired of paying. <laughs> <laughs> You want to respond, contestant number two? My mom paying? Yeah, maybe that's why she stopped. You know, I'm kind just of asking. Oh, no, no, it's cheaper to be solo. <laughs> you know? No, my mom's very generous. So okay. I, I, I think that's where I get it from. My Both of my parents, they're generous, and they're very friendly and welcoming, you know, to people. They have good relationships with people. That's great. Good, good, good. Well done. Contestant number one. Yeah, I'm very close with my family. Uh, they live about 20 miles. My parents are 20 miles from me. My brother with my sister-in-law, my two nephews are about 20 miles away from me. My parents grew up in the same town. So like extended family is all there. A family function is typically no less than 30 people. So um, everyone, you know, it's it's really nice. And family is, is super important to me and, and keeping those relationships. Um, because they're it's valuable. That's your blood. Okay. Okay. Good. What's next? Keep going, Lucian. You got some great questions. Keep keep them coming. What's up, J Trey? Good to see you. Um, the thing, my my question is how they deal with jealousy. You know, it's it's not that I'm I'm a I mean that I'll be going out with a lot of people. You know, I, I I'm mostly a a man who like to stay in his home. But you know, due to my job and mostly right now with with uh, the pandemics and Twitch and all that, I, I'll be talking with a lot of people. And well, if, if you ever been on my stream, you can see that most of the people with the Lucy Click are females. You know, we got a we got a lot of great men in there too. But most of the people there are ladies, and I like to treat ladies well. So you know, maybe you can handle that, or that will be an issue for you. Okay. So what's up, Dr. Dady Priest? Great question. How do you handle jealousy? I think we'll stay here with contestant number one and go around this way. So how do you handle jealousy? And keep it in mind, Luciano's a DJ, travels the world. Ladies are always around him. How do you handle Yeah. Jealousy? Yeah. You know, I, I'm not a jealous person. In my past relationships, I've always encouraged my, you know, my boyfriend to go out and be with his friends and have a good time. As long as there's trust there, there doesn't need to be jealousy. So if you if you are providing that trust and that comfort and that reassurance to me, then there's no reason for me to be jealous because we have that strength and confidence in our relationship that I know you're just being thoughtful and considerate and caring and you have amazing fans that adore you just like I do and they have good taste. All right. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, all right. That's a good one. <laughs> Contestant number two. How do you handle jealousy? Well, I, I think, you know, you do have to know when getting into a relationship with you, it does come with the territory. So they already have to know that and be um, accepting of it. But I think the big thing is, is that reassurance. Like it, it goes both ways, but reassurance and trust. So she has to be understanding, but you also have to, you know, make time and give her that assurance that this is all just the job. And as long as, you know, 
you're staying faithful, then everything is good. All right. Well said. Contestant number three, how do you handle jealousy? <laughs> um, oh, I'm, she started laughing. <laughs> Man, she started laughing. I, I'm giggling at how he said, how he asked the question. <laughs> no, but um, no, I, I'm, a, I'm not a confrontational person, uh, first off. So, you know, as far as being jealous, I'm definitely not really a jealous person either. Um, I'm, you know, again, there, there has to be trust there. And obviously just knowing what you do, you're a DJ. And again, like like, like the other ladies have said, you know, we, we love you, you know, right? And, and, and clearly they, like she said, they have good taste. So it's, it's you know, just it just comes with the territory. And um, something would have to happen, like you'd have to cheat or something it, for for then, you know, something to be wrong. So yeah, I, you could, but the trust has to be there. So you gotta let, I gotta, I gotta trust you. And I think, um, yeah, I just gotta have, you know, have that trust there and then like, um, and know that, that things are good. And I'm, of course I'd probably make sure once in a while to let people know that, yep, that's mine. You know, <laughs> that's my I'm man there. or whatever, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So can I ask a follow-up question, Luciano? Sure. You can, you, you're going to be, Saving me. <laughs> so go ahead, man. Okay, so I'm gonna paint out the scenario. Say you and your you and Luciano for the ladies, y'all are dating and get into an argument. How would you go about resolving said argument? And we'll stay oh, with I love that. I love that question. I'm sorry, say it again. I'm, so I'm say not... you you two are dating and you two have an argument. How would you go about resolving this argument? Mm. Um, Tristan like, said it would be Popeye. Stop it, Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> I will be fighting. I will be fighting I mean, every day. If we start hey. with Popeyes, we're fighting every day. <laughs> uh oh. No, <laughs> honestly. I'm picking Trish. I'm <laughs> picking Trish. <laughs> so that's the answer. I got. I, I just got to get you Popeyes. No, we're not going to. We're not going to accept Popeyes for this answer. So no. <laughs> I mean, just, just check it. Okay. No, um, honestly, you know, we probably need to take a step back and, and, and not take a step back like that, but just kind of cool off whatever the situation is. And since, you know, you like to laugh, I like to laugh and we're always trying, like you say, always trying to find some sort of humor in it. Um, honestly, I try to, to do that. And, and, and to try to find some sort of humor in whatever it is. Because a lot of times when you argue, that's probably, it's really something silly and something that's not important. So um, if we kind of, you know, find the humor in those kinds of things and really just step back like, okay, we're bugging, we're tripping, then, you know, I think that's the best way to handle an argument. And then maybe the Popeyes will come later, or, you know. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Uh, contestant number two, how would you handle resolving an argument when you were dating DJ Luciano? I'm right. Just say you're sorry and it's over. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> that's sincere. That's honest. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> well, it would really have to be, what, what is it about? And um, kind of who started it? Um, let's get down to the root of the problem and figure this out, you know? Uh, someone has to be the bigger person. I don't, if I'm in the wrong, I will acknowledge that and I will admit it and, you know, own up to it. Hopefully you can do the same. But I don't like staying mad too long, you know? Like, especially don't go to bed mad. That's, that, that's a, a big thing. Fair enough. But fair just enough. say sorry. Okay, we're good. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Moving on. <laughs> good, <laughs> good. Are. Okay, I accept. <laughs> Contestant number one, what's your answer? I think my my fellow contestants said, you know, everything really well. I think, you know, taking a step back to go cool off, take a walk, take a breath, because the last thing you want to do is try and resolve it as you're fighting, <laughs> because then it just spirals. So just take take a beat. Take a moment, compose. Like, let us compose ourselves. Sit down, pour a glass of wine, have a like adult chat about it, and listen to each other. I think it's important to acknowledge 
people's feelings and reactions, even if you disagree, they're allowed to have them and just have a really adult conversation about it. And you can talk anything out and you can get resolution and anything's good with wine. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, there you go. Everything is good. With wine. I love that part. Uh, Miss Angie V, what's up? Yes, you uh, followed us. We have a hype train. Uh-oh. Okay. Let me see who gave the bits here. Double Spirit, thank you for the bits. Miss BJ727 with the bits. Nerd Chris and Big Ed Smith. What's good? Thank you for the bits. We have a hype train going on. We're level 1, 25%. We will multitask. We'll do the hype train, and we will also ask some more questions. So I have an audience questions. Luke Booms, thank you for the bits. Uh, JFam, thank you for resubbing. Happy 11 months. Thank you for support. The next question is, thank you. Oh, Flowtron, what's good? <laughs> thank you for the sub. Happy three months. Flowtron helps me produce the Twitch Squares game. That takes a lot of work, so he helps. So shout out to him. Big Stove, thank you for the bits. Chris11, thank you for the bits. DJ Daz, thank you for the bits. We are on to level two. We're rolling. We're rolling. All right, next question is, oh, we'll just keep talking here. Hold on. Vic Padro, thank you for the sub. Happy eight months. Nisha Bita, uh, thank you for the bits. Tiff, J-I-S, thank you for the bits. Welcome in. DJ Money 8, thank you for the bits. Appreciate this. Latoya Sharice, thank you for the bits. And Latoya, thank you for your help earlier also. Uh, Champ Lifestyle, thank you for the bits. We're just rolling right through it here. Where are we at? Level 2, 41%. Um, and you, okay, let's see here. Champ Lifestyle, thank you. All right, well, I might have to interrupt some answers in between to thank people for the bits, but keep it coming. I appreciate the support. I just, wanna, I just want right. to appreciate that all the family that came here to show love. You know, they always here for me, mostly because they know that if I'm here, there will be a lot of foolery. So <laughs> I, I, I love they come here to laugh about me. So, that, you know, that that's yeah. cool. Well, we, they we, know I love we, you. We're not laughing at you. We're laughing with you. And you're doing great. These are some great questions. Big Ed Smith, thank you for the bits. Jilly Bean, what's up? Thank you for the bits. Amina B, hello again. Thank you for those bits. DJ Malachi, thank you for the bits. Sexy Scorpio 75, welcome back. Thank you for the bits. We are on to level three, rolling through the hype train. Now, let me see here. Claudia V asks another question here. She says, how would you describe your personality? Uptight, easygoing, controlling, carefree. So ladies, think about how you would describe your personality. We'll keep kind of talking about this hype train, give you a minute to think about it. Uh, Nerd Chris, thank you for gifting a sub to Miss Nikki Ninja Jackson. Hello there, thank you for that. Level three, 24%. D Bless, thank you for those bits. All right, let's see here. We'll keep going, keep going. Contestant number one, you can tell us, how would you describe your personality? Oh gosh, good question. I feel like it's hard to describe your personality in just one path. Like I'm definitely outgoing. I feel like probably all three of us ladies uh, wouldn't be here if we weren't outgoing personalities, uh, but also easygoing. But can I be a little controlling? I'm an event planner. What do you think? <laughs> I love a schedule, um, but not in like a relationship controlling way. I think I just like being on time and being punctual um, and having kind of that. So, um, you know, I'm I'm, a, I'm a, an onion. So there's many layers to me. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Kara Canova, good to see you. Thank you for the bitch. Trish, thank you for that five stack. Appreciate the support. 55% level three. We're going to roll with contestant number two to describe her personality. I think I'm very, um, again, very independent. I'm a, a free soul. I wander. I am not afraid to do things, you know, in a group or by myself. Um, I like to explore pretty much laid back. Um, but I also like to get the job done. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty goal driven and assertive um friendly and i guess um, competent in lots of yeah. things all right all right cool misty christie thank you for those bits 404 bits atl in the building mkg bailey thank you for the bits malachi I see what you did there thank you for those 69 bits christina what's up Hi. thank you for those bits alex thank you for the bits we're 92 percent level three two and a half minutes left we will continue with contestant number three. How would you describe your personality? Ooh, um, yeah, like the other ladies have said, it's hard to do to pick one word, but if I had to, I would say easygoing. 
Um, you know, I, I definitely somebody that goes with the flow um, a lot of the times. Um, but I would like to add that I, I, I you know, I like I'm definitely a silly person <laughs> in most chances I can get, um, you know. But, uh, yeah, I would just say just easy going, going with the flow. OK. All right. Got some more love here. Diva 929, my neighbor. Thank you for those bits. DJ OE, thank you for the bits. Miss Angie, Angie, Angie V, Angel V, excuse me. Thank you for the sub. Welcome into the family. Appreciate that. All right. Next question. I got another question for uh, the ladies for you, Luciano. All right. If Luciano was able to contact your last boyfriend and ask them to tell him about you, what would they say? We're going to start this question. Just let me tell you something. And this okay. is how great minds work alike. I was about to ask them the worst thing about them. You know, everybody tell, uh, ask for the best thing or, what, you know, what are you like? I want to know the worst thing about them. So that you asking that was just on point. So okay. that, that's a great question. All right. Thank you. Where are we at? Level four, hype train, 27%. Um, we'll start with contestant number two. So we get in touch. Luciano reaches and talks to your ex. What is your ex going to say about you? That, <laughs> that I try to get her back and she wouldn't take me back. Um, oh. <laughs> um, she's very, uh, she, she's very loyal and she didn't mess up. I did. So, um, yeah, but uh, she she's uh, she's forgiving and and a good friend. OK, OK. Contestant number three. What is your ex going to say when Luciana reaches out to him? Tanya, California. Thank you for that three sub. Happy 10 months. Great to see you again. Go ahead. Contestant number three. Ooh. Um, well, he would say that, you know, um, she's a great person. She's, you know, has a beautiful personality and, and spirit. Um, but yeah, I guess, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of how to say, <laughs> um, you know, it just didn't work out. Um, and I was looking for something different. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Contestant number one. We reach your ex. <laughs> what is he gonna say? <laughs> uh, well, he'd have to say nothing but great things because, full disclosure, I was cheated on. So, um, I feel like he could. He would have to say I could do no wrong. Uh, but you know, we're not all perfect, and we all have our flaws. Um, so you know, but I think I got along great with all of his friends and his family. So I think I just am a a really personable person. Um, but maybe, you know, I was, I was, it's been a while. I was young. Maybe there just wasn't enough passion and that just might mean that wasn't the right relationship for me. Okay. So thank you for the answer. Marcia, thank you for the sub. Happy 12 months, one year. Thank you very much. Um, 71% level four, a minute and a half left. Let's see if we can get to level five. So we can kind of twist your other question, Luciana, into this one. You can let me know if I have your permission. Yep. And we could ask the ladies if there's one characteristic that you're trying to improve on the most, what would that characteristic be? Love it. You love it? Okay. Yep. If JIS, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. We'll start with contestant number three. Um, D Bless, thank you for the bits. 75% a minute left. Sexy Scorpio, thank you for those bits. Where are we at? We're 79% a minute left. So, contestant number three. Y'all get in the solar role. If you got the hype train, you'll get in the solar role. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dream Diva, thank you for the sub. Hi, T. What's good? Good to see you. Thank you for the bits. The one Miss D, thank you for the bits. We are to level five. Go ahead, contestant number three. Okay. So you said um, one characteristic that I'd want to work on. Yes. Like maybe, you know, you have to work on your communication skills or, you know, cleaning up, stuff like that. Okay. Um, I would say it would be um being consistent i'm consistent in some things but other things that i probably need to be consistent in i'm not like for instance uh my health and trying to work out and doing those things i'll i'll be on a roll for a while and then kind of fall off and um 
uh, yeah, I, I would say some. I would say definitely being consistent um, can always work on communication too. Uh, you know, being okay to have um, any kind of incom- uncomfortable um, conversation. So definitely those two things. Okay, good, good, good. Misty Christie, Twitch famous. Thank you for that gift sub, Alex. Thank you for those bits. Twenty seven percent level five. We're gonna go next to contestant number one. What is one characteristic you are trying to work on the most, improve the most? I need to be better at saying no to things. I am a people pleaser and if somebody needs help with something, a ride, they need, I don't know, money, I don't know. I never want anyone to feel left out or that they don't have someone there supporting them. So I say yes to everything, even if it causes me stress um, and kind of makes things inconvenient for me. So I have to learn to say no so that I'm putting myself first sometimes. Okay, I will borrow some money now that you say that. (laughs) I mean, I can like Venmo you $5. It's not gonna, you know. (laughs) It's enough for Popeyes, right? That'll get you dinner. (laughs) It it works, you made the cut. Yes, yes. Contestant number two, um, and Il Drecker, put your quest in the chat so I can see it. Um, go ahead, contestant number two. I think the biggest thing for me is I need to work on my work-life balance. I am a little bit too much of a workaholic where I sometimes don't make enough time for myself, you know, or I'm just constantly like spinning on the wheel and always doing something. So and it's usually work related, but I think I, I need to like take a step back from that and kind of just enjoy life and continue to try new things. Okay. So yeah, just kind of balance that out some. All right, good answers. We got another question. I'm still trying to figure out Il Drucker's question. So I think I see a little bit of it. So keep explaining to me while we're here, uh, where are we at in the hype train? Two minutes left, 27%. Uh, Tall Pumps asked this question for the ladies. We'll start with contestant one. What is your favorite time of day and why? Oh, favorite well, time we're talking of about day. I don't know if my mama is happy about it. I know <laughs> she's going to let me hear. <laughs> <laughs> what is the favorite time of day? Um, maybe we'll say sunset. I mean, it's really pretty. You can't go wrong sitting out and enjoying a gorgeous sunset with, you know, your DJ by your side. Uh, It's always really nice. I'm not a morning person. Otherwise, maybe sunrise would work, but that's just far too early for me. So sunset would be optimal. Yeah. Okay. Sunrise contestant number two. And then we have another audience question. Favorite time of the day is when I can clock out of work, which is late afternoon and you know, and enjoy, enjoy people and my shows and movies. Okay. And my dog. All right. All right. So, oh, Big Ed Smith, thank you for that five piece. Appreciate you. Nerd oh, Chris they got a solo yeah. roll. Give me a second. There you they go. made it. Hold on for a minute. We're going to put you here. Do the solo roll real quick. Go ahead. Do that again. Do that again. <laughs> They earned it. They made a uh, uh, tripling. All right. All right. Thank you. Word. Yes, yes. 114% appreciate you all. Um, okay, so next we're going to go to contestant number three for your favorite time of day. <laughs> uh, well, shout out to contestant number two because you know I did a slow clap because that my favorite time of day is clocking out. But <laughs> uh, no, but honestly, yeah, I would say sunset. Um just because I don't live near water or not close enough anyway. But one of the things I would love to do is like a sunset cruise and it's just always just so beautiful. So yeah, that's definitely gotta be um, the best time of the day. Okay. So thanks again, Big Ed Smith. Let us know what side arms you want for your five piece. It can be corn on the cob, cornbread, yams, platanos maduros, or we got a little special jerk rice. Those are the side items you can have. Ooh. Another good audience question. We're going to start this one with contestant number one. Is Sierra, Sierra, Sierra. Hello, by the way. Good to see you again. How Thank do you Sarah. feel about therapy treatment? Do you see a therapist regularly? Contestant number one. I am a 
am a full supporter of therapy. Um, I think it's great to talk things out, especially with someone that is a neutral party, because you know your family is always going to just tell you what you want to hear, which is great. Uh, but sometimes you need that person that kind of just helps you talk through things. And so I'm a huge um, advocate and have gone to therapy myself. So I support it 100%. And I think it's you know a great thing for your own self-care. All right. All right. Uh, contestant number three, how do you feel about therapy? What's been your experience? Um, I haven't actually, my, I haven't personally been to, to therapy, but I do think it's a very good thing. A good friend of mine um, from college is actually a therapist. She's actually a couples therapist at that too. Um, but I, she will share different things, you know, that she may talk about, obviously not about their, their individual situations, but just kind of share with us things that, you know, that can help us out and get what we're trying to get through, even if we're not necessarily in a couple. So a lot of those, a lot of the things that she'll share, um, you know, can, can, um, can be translated into whatever your situation is. And so, yeah, definitely, definitely on board with it. Um, if I felt like I needed to go, at least, like I said, I have a friend that does it. I <laughs> probably can go to her, but yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. And then contestant number two, Il Drucker, I got you, by the way. And Disco Darren, thank you for those bits. Um, we'll ask your follow-up question, Il Drucker, next. So don't worry. No need to fight me. What's up, Numi? Good to see you. Go ahead, contestant number two. Um, I'm 100% supportive of a, a therapist. I I don't really have too much experience with it. I, you know, maybe went to one about 10 years ago a couple times, and it, it, it was helpful. But... Um, majority of the time friends and family always come to me for advice and you know i give them my advice but then i'm also supportive of them when they they go to their own therapist and you know they tell me what happened after that okay good good so great answer so il drucker has a question um there's one contestant, I don't remember who it was, but you had said that you wanted to try something different after a previous relationship what did you mean by that? So I'm not sure if that was number one or number two, but I th maybe it was one. Who said they would try something different? Come off mute and let us know, and we can figure this out real quick for Il Drucker, because Il Drucker is like Luciano's right-hand person. So, yes. I'm going to just say India. India, I'm going to give you a Scooby snack. Thank you for that. You know, don't be fighting people. <laughs> we got to come up in love in here. Yes, yes. So if we can't figure that out, we'll keep moving forward, but we'll still try to figure that out for your ill drucker. Um, all right. Uh, what's your next question, Luciano? And then we'll have time for what time is it? Yep, we got time for about two or three more questions. Then we're going to give you some time to make a decision, and then we'll come back. So talk to us. Go ahead, Luciano. Okay. My question is uh, if they know something about where I'm from, or, or if they just like, getting to know self about Argentina now they, because they know about me and if they will be interested in knowing, you know, because uh, I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of stuff about our culture that, that most people don't know. And, and I really like to read about it and, and share it with the world. So, you know, that that's something that's important for me too. Okay. So what do you know about Argentina or what would you like to kind if of... If they know something about Argentina and, and if it will be boring for them hear me talking about it or, or maybe sharing my experiences or that type of stuff. Okay. Contestant number three, what's your answer? Ooh. Um, that's a good question, but I honestly don't know a lot about Argentina. Um, I did have a... I worked... I had a, a co-worker um, used to work my job and he was from Argentina, but we didn't really get to talk a whole lot to know, you know, for him to really tell me anything, but um, I'd love to know. And it's definitely a place that was, that's on my um, travel list. So I definitely would love to know more about it and actually go and visit and of course, see it with you. Okay. All right. Contestant number two. Uh, what I know about Argentina, um, your flag is baby blue and white. <laughs> well, that's um, awesome. let's see. Um, you guys have good food, and I think isn't um, Patagonia in Argentina? 
have what? Patagonia, Patagonia. Oh yeah, the Patagonia is here. Yeah, you know something? No, that's so. Okay, see, there you go. Well done, contestant number two. Contestant number one. I don't know much. Uh, my college mascot is a gaucho, and that's an Argentinian cowboy. So it's almost like I went to college in Argentina. Uh, no, <laughs> um, that's the only connection. I had some friends who lived there after college. I know that they're. You know, Malbec, the wine is from Argentina, uh, but I don't know very much, but I've always wanted to go and I would love to learn more about it um, besides just knowing what a gaucho is. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Luciana, great. I agree. Cigars and bourbon. All you got to say is Maradona, but keep going. Luciana, next That's one. That's something. Next no, but you didn't know about Ginobili either. Oh, Ginobili. Yes. We know about Ginobili. Well, he's from Argentina, you know? Yeah. That, okay. That's my man. The basketball like. player? Yeah. I know him. Okay. No, I mean, there I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Point. So I, I was just writing. I, I, I just was statue you. Now, now I got you. Like, yeah, yeah, that's one. Yeah, yeah. So contestant three, we're going to come back to you because that's the follow-up question from Il Drucker was like, um, you said you would do something different based on a past relationship. We would like for you to explain a little more, please, if you can. What would you do differently? Oh, okay. No, I didn't say I would do something different. I think the question was, um, what would your past boyfriend say yeah. about you? Um, I was saying that they wanted to do something different, like pick another person. Like, yeah, yeah. that's what I meant by that. No, it wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Next question, we will ask you one more question that will let you take a break and think about it. I might ask another one too. Which <laughs> okay, I got one more question, and it's related to my my production show. You know, I, I'll be working on music, and sometimes I, I won't be in bed all night, or I'm just woke up in the middle of the night because I got something that just came to my mind. And maybe you know, it will be like days that I won't even be paying attention to other stuff than my music. Can, can you handle that? Like, it's something that you can understand, or it will be an issue for the couple. All right, so we're going to start with contestant number two with that one. So you're working on your production, your music? Yeah, I'm, I'm a producer. I'm a producer turned to DJ. So what I do first was make music. Go for it. You know, I'm, I'd am i be fully supportive of it. Uh, can I listen? No. <laughs> I'm going to drop the link. <laughs> okay. I hit the chat. <laughs> All right, contestant number one. Yeah, I mean, that's your passion. That is super important to you. And I think you have to, it's a creative process. So you can't put that on pause. So if you have to wake up in the middle of the night and that's what you got to go do, then absolutely go do that. And I think similar to you know what contestant number two said, if you don't mind me grabbing a blanket and cozying up next to you, watching you work, um, I think that's great. And I'd love to see kind of how you do it all. And I think that's it's your creative process. Again, you can't stifle that. And it comes when it comes. And you can't control that. All right. All right. And then we're going to take contestant number three. Yes, definitely. Um, I agree with the other two ladies. Yeah, it would. It definitely wouldn't be a problem. You're as a producer, you're creative, and yeah, like you said, sometimes you know creativity hits you when you it hits you. You got to go ahead and and you know capture it in the moment. Um, I probably too would want to to you know be there and kind of listen in and and shoot if I could help. Hey, you know, I'd love to help too. But so yeah, it's definitely not a problem. I, um, you know, being around music, I, I know a good number of producers now and it's, yeah, there's no question about it. That That's awesome. That's dope. All right. And then the final question I think we have for the ladies. Um, do you have a final one, Luke, or I can ask one? No, go ahead. Okay. And we'll start with contestant number one for this one. So keeping in mind that we'll paint another scenario for you because this question came up in the chat a couple times. I think Kev G asked this one, but you're oh unable, God. yep, you're unable to buy or visit Popeyes. So you have to cook a meal for Luciano Sola. What meal are you cooking for him? Oh gosh. Uh, and he was so okay with not cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
that's know, the question. I, that's the question. Right, it is. And that's okay. I, you know, I'm not a terrible cook. I'm not the most creative. I can follow a recipe. But, you know, a good piece of fish. I'm really good at pan searing some salmon with some fresh vegetables. You know, get some healthy stuff. So that way we can also follow it up with some ice cream and all of the desserts that we want. All right. And what flavor of ice cream are you having? Oh, gosh. Um, see, I feel like Luciana is not going to know this because it's a state's thing. But Thrifty Ice Cream, which is this like drugstore that you could get a 50 cent scoop of ice cream, has chocolate malted crunch that is to die for. So I will figure out a way to get that to you, Luciana, so we can right. have chocolate malted that, crunch. That's <laughs> I love it. Contestant number two. Hmm. I would probably cook you um, chicken piccata. It's my favorite dish. It, it's Italian. I ain't Italian, but, you know, I can cook it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right. Anything for dessert? Oh, yeah. Uh, I have a huge sweet tooth. So whatever. Uh, ice cream, brownies, hot chocolate chip cookies from the oven. Oh. Hot chocolate chip cookies. With ice cream. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Are those special brownies or regular brownies? It could be both. <laughs> <laughs> they could be both. All right. Why not? Why not? Okay. YOLO, right? YOLO. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Contestant number three. Oh, my mom, you just had to ask a cooking question. Oh my God. Um, cause I'm not, I, I can cook, but I'm not a big cook. Um, <laughs> but, um, probably chicken lasagna. And so that just has the chicken, the, um, Alfredo sauce. Um, I think there's like a little bit of vegetables in there and it's like bread top. It's amazing. Um, and I'm sure you're about to ask me about a dessert, right? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. Lord. Okay. Um, well, typically I like, I, my favorite dessert is chocolate. So um, maybe like Oreo, like an Oreo cheesecake. Oh. That's ambitious. I, I'd love to try to make it. If not, we can just go to Cheesecake Factory and get you some. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now uh is we're gonna put all three contestants and luciano will put you backstage then we'll bring you out after about five minutes so you can okay. thought think so about I it can i can take a little break yes you can take a little break the mods will put up a poll five minute poll saying who the chat feels he should select i'm gonna put on after this like a quick little preview of a brand new show we're gonna premiere on august 4th and so we're also taking potential contestants for this one so let's do that really quickly and then we'll come back and see who the decision is so hold on for a minute here, here. All right. So <laughs> also, if you want to be contested on the dating game, we'll put up the link in the chat, exclamation dating, I believe. And you can apply. We're taking applications for our next episode. You can see how much fun it is. All right. Let's check out this video. And then I'll explain our new show that's coming out, too. Here we go. All right, y'all. Hope you like that. So what this is going to be, it's going to be a show called Who Is That Voice? It's a combination of the mass singer and the voice we'll have five contestants per game um they'll won't you'll be able to see them they'll put a collage up of clues about them the audience will try to guess them and then we'll also try to uh, you also pick who you feel did the best and we'll just knock them down from five to four to three to two to one that's the new game that's going to premiere on august 4th in let's look here one two three three weeks so that's that show also next week on wednesday we have another episode of twitch squares if you have seen twitch squares you know how much fun it is so that's what we have there i'll show you a flyer for that twitch squares where is it so this one's an old flyer but you can still see twitch squares the next one's gonna be actually july 21st that's coming up next wednesday too um all right good so that's our next show and then sunday we have come here bay so sunday's come here bay and that is on the Let's see here, July 18th, it's Come Here Bay. So those are the shows coming up. All right, let's bring Luciano back up to the stream and see who he picked. Uh, Nisi B120, thank you for the follow. Champ Lifestyle One, thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you, Kara, appreciate that. All right, here we go. So back to you, Luciano, we're here. How we feeling? So you're still muted. Let's take you off mute real quick, hold on. 
Let's see. Take yourself off mute there. We're good. Now we're good. good. We good. We good. Okay. How do you feel? How do you feel about all the contestants? I'm nervous. You're nervous? Don't be nervous. This is all. It's over now. It's done. Don't be nervous. I've been nervous uh, the whole time. Why, <laughs> why would I stop now? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so how'd you like the experience? What'd you think? What um talk to us? Tell us about your experience. Well, the, the thing with this is that I found stuff that I like from each one of them. You know, okay. it's like like there there's stuff from the number one that I like, there there's stuff about the number two that I like, there's stuff about the number three that I like. So it's like that that was make it more difficult. But I'll be paying attention to some stuff about uh, when one, you know, you know, she said number one. I, I'm pretty sure she said she can say no. Uh -huh. and that's something that I do too. And I think you know I need that type of balance. Somebody that, that can tell me that I should be saying no. Okay. So you know that's something that that kind of got me thinking about the other ones. Okay. Uh, right. Then. I think it's the number three was the one that paid more attention to everything that I say. Okay. Uh, also, I think that I I would love if somebody reply about the cooking, what Disco Daring say. I will be happy with chicken and, and Kool-Aid. <laughs> okay. I'm picking Disco Daring right. for the meal. Disco, <laughs> you can cook for me, bro. We're going to have a good time. Listen to some house music. Is it red Kool-Aid or purple Kool-Aid? You can let us know. <laughs> he said the green, and I'm happy with it. So green Kool-Aid. Oh no. Okay. Okay. So let's let's do this here because the audience is waiting. What uh let me think here. DJ Mad Live, thank you for the follow. Nisi Sykes. I hope I said that right. Thank you Nisi for the Sykes. follow. Yes, yes. Who oh what crazy form is in the building? What's up, Crazy? Who are you gonna pick? Who's your choice? Well, uh, as I told you, I, I was really like in the middle of, of the three of them. You know, it was hard for me to pick, but I think the people don't chose, and that helped me too. Cause you know, I see a lot of people that is in here that knows me, so I think you know that they be thinking about me too uh, with this option. So I think I'm gonna be picking number three. Number three. All right, congratulations, number three. What we'll do is we'll have contestant one. Come off mute and unmute your camera. You'll enter. You'll you'll be able to tell uh, Luciano who you are and tell him what he missed out on. So contestant number one, once you take your camera off mute, I'll bring you on stage. All right. So come on, tooth. Hi there. Hi, <laughs> hi, Luciano. Hey there. How you doing? <laughs> doing well. My name is Melissa, and you know you couldn't have gone wrong with any of these ladies you're missing out on some la fun but <laughs> i you know contestant number three is you're you got a great lady on your hand so have a great time and it was a pleasure getting to know you so okay well i can definitely go visit you to la though <laughs> you're more than welcome anytime <laughs> you can okay. come visit both of us melissa thank you um she's a close friend of mine we work together so amazing job thank you very much and i'm gonna see you pretty soon too yeah all right, thank you. Okay. All right, so ready for contestant number two. Uh, unmute your camera and we'll get ready to introduce yourself. All right, here we go. You know, right. this is the worst part, right? Now I'm more nervous. Hi. <laughs> I am Jenna, Jenna2882, new to Twitch. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> When you pick up Melissa in LA, you can pick me up too, because I'm here okay. in LA. So okay, I'm gonna yeah. go visit both of you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, nice to meet you. And yes, number three, she's good. So good luck with that. All right. Yeah, All right. That. Nice to Thank meet you. you. Thank you for being here. Cool, cool, cool. Contestant number three. <laughs> Some of you will recognize her too. So come off mute and unmute yourself. All right, so contestant three, this hey. is it. <laughs> yes. Hey there. Um, so yeah, hey. Uh, so I'm Songbird ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, that's yeah. my mod. She's my mod here. Yeah. yeah so one of my mods. Okay, we mod. got a mod. We got a mod in the team. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. So 
what we'll do is this is the winner. I'm so happy. Talk where you did well. Great answers. Well done. Congratulations. Yes, correct. Thank you. Thank we will you. Connect you. Songbirds in Atlanta. Have you been to Atlanta yet, yeah. Luciano? No, I never been in Atlanta. So oh, you gotta come to I Atlanta. Go visit. She'll take you to Popeyes in Atlanta. So yes. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I roll up. If, if you got, got Popeyes, you right down. So that's yeah, it. Down. All right. So we got you covered. Excellent <laughs> job. Great job, Luciano. Um. And cool. So we have come to the end of the Twitch Diddy game. That's true. She was modding and competing at the same time, Chris. Yes. Thanks to yes. the chat. Thanks to my mod, Songbird. Oh, team. Sure. Christy is here. She was modding at the same time. She can multitask. That's what's up. <laughs> yes. 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 I can do that. You know, I, it's hard. You have to hold it down. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you to London. We have Holly that was here, Alex, and CCC Cruz. Thank you. To you all, another amazing episode of the Twitch dating game. If you're interested, send me a whisper. We got that application there. Um, just a really well done, fun episode. We're going to go raid DJ Unique Illusions right now, but um, just great work. So much fun. Thank you, Luciano, for risking and coming up with some great questions. No, thank yes, you. Thank you for having me. It was fun. <laughs> and the three, the three ladies are amazing. You know, all of them got something that I really like. But you know how the game is. You gotta only pick one. So you you I, I picked the one that I, I feel that was more compatible with me. And you did well. You did well. So great job there. Um any final thoughts, Luciana? We'll put the raid comment here. We'll play the song. Um uh and I'll I'll we'll go we'll put songbird backstage. So songbird, thank you. We'll let you go backstage. But um Luciana, any final thoughts? Thank you very much. Like anything else? My, my final thoughts is that everybody that, that wants to have a little, a, a real good time should sign up for this because this is really, <laughs> even though when you got nervous, because I've been nervous the whole thing, I, I won't lie to you, but you know, you, you get to get a good laugh and, and see all your family right there with you. It, it's even better. So I appreciate you, as I already told you, for all you've done for me. Yes. And, and that's it. That, you know, that's love. For sure. We're gonna get you to come to LA, to Atlanta, to New York. We're gonna rock out together. I'm uh, down. Keep doing your thing. And we just love having you as you know, being around us and, and giving us the good music. When's your next stream? Tell us when your next stream is. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. EST. I'm gonna be doing the uh, our uh, ready for the weekend. That's what we do. Oh, Sheila, ready for the weekend. Yes. Uh, and then I'm gonna be taking a, a free week, as I told you. I, I'm gonna be probably taking a trip to the mountains. I got a friend who lives like really up in the mountains, and I'm gonna go there to be offline a little bit. You know, I gotta unwind a little bit. Good. All right, y'all, we get ready for the raid. Unique illusion. Let's overwhelm him with emotes. I'll put our song on, and we are good to go. Thank y'all for tuning in. See y'all on Sunday, 11 11 p.m. Eastern time. Thank Take you for tuning into the Twitch dating game. Please join us for our next show. If you are interested in becoming a contestant in the future, please send a whisper on Twitch to Imani Experience. Stay safe and never stop believing in love.